Hey Sadie, this is the Super Zomba God Barbie Kara, and today we are going to look at the brand new Money in the Bank cards, which have just been released. But I don't want to just look at the Money in the Bank cards because we've got to look into the future. A lot of people go ahead and just splurge contracts, but we've got to look at the overall picture of those Money in the Bank cards. I have a look at the new cards themselves, the stats, also how much they cost. I don't know how much they cost yet. Or I have been told that it's quite a lot in terms of contracts. Uh, not for some people that that's a problem. But we need to get our King of the Ring awards first. And I haven't done a King of the Ring in about a week. Because opening up females is not the easiest. Especially when you're working. And I didn't have any time at the end of last week. But I got Alexa Bliss done eventually. And I'm really happy the way I token there. And I'll show you why in a second. But... If you got yourself Alexa Bliss, or you're going to get yourself any of the new Money in the Bank cards, or you just want to see more of this content, all you got to do is hit that like button. You just hit that as many times as freaking possible. That'd be awesome. Thank you. We're going to get these King of the Ring rewards now. Get our ultimate King of the Ring. Also, don't forget, when we talk about liking, make sure you subscribe as well. Anyway, let's get those King of the Ring rewards. Let me get myself an ultimate card and the league card, but you guys know the drill. I don't really need any other cards other than basically females. So if I get myself a female pro, that'd be amazing. Right now, I would be... I'm gasping for a Carmella because Carmella would help me against the new Money in the Bank cards in terms of uh, being an up arrow, which you'll see why I'm talking about that in a second. Let's get those King of the Ring awards now. Ultimate and Elite card. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. It's going to be... Oh, just really... And they wonder why I don't play King of the Rings. <laughs> wow. Jey Uso. Oh dear. So, um, yeah. I, I won't play another King of the Ring for the rest of the tip. <laughs> and a, wow. Well, that's a great way to start off the uh, the upload. Um, yeah. Big Show and Jey Uso. Some of the worst cards in the tier. In fact... I think they're both in the bottom three for Ultimate and Elite. So, um, the WWE Supercard Gods are not shining on me today. So, uh, let's lock those cards in. But always make sure you lock your cards in. Or a Big Show, for example. You can you can just... Oh, it, it's a pro. Cool. That's awesome. Uh -huh. I always want to do that to Big Show. I always want to do that to Big Show. Now, on to those Money in the Bank rewards. Now, before you go ahead and say, yeah, man, I really want these new amazing cards, I'm going to say a hold up because we're going to talk about what I think is coming up in the future that might make you think twice. Now, what I'm going to start off by saying is that in WWE Supercard Season 3 so far, we have had a Goldberg left event card, a Bret Hart right event card, We've had a Shaman Man up arrow, and we've got a down arrow Neville, which we'll get a pro of next week in Road to Glory. We've also got the Alexa female, which is not fully leveled up, just to clarify. This is not fully leveled up. I'm, I've made her specifically to attack certain females, which I'll talk about later on. You've also got the Lita as well, which uh, is an amazing, amazing card. And now you've got the Money in the Bank female. Yes, there is a Money in the Bank female card, which we're going to talk about now, which is Charlotte. Now, Charlotte tags perfectly with Lita. And I'm sure a few people can be very, very happy with them. I have not seen the rewards or how much they're going to cost yet. So, let's go get into it right now. Charlotte is one of those Money in the Bank cards. The second card is... Yeah, that guy. Uh, Braun Strowman, or this guy. We're going to call him Strowmander. So, to get Stromander, you have to spend an, an enormous amount of credits, which is like 19200 on this card. So, I mean, as you can see, I, I don't have anywhere near that amount of money. So, um, I'm surprised they haven't put normal Ultimate cards in this yet, which is very very strange. But, you've also got the Charlotte as well. Now, Braun Strowman is 19200 for the card. I'm going to put it out there right now. I'm going to give you just complete rundown of comparisons. Um, he's not worth it. Not in any way, shape, or form. The, the picture is great. And it, it's all about Roblox, end of the line, which is the pay-per-view, which ended 2016. And Braun Strowman's stats are pretty woeful. In fact, the newest event card, Neville, actually beats him in four stats. In fact, the only card he's really useful against is actually the Goldberg from Money in the Bank, who he technically three stats uh, in power, toughness, and speed. But 
I'm, I'm going to be real and say he he's not particularly useful at all. Better option would have been to get Brock Lesnar in the previous one against Braun Strowman. Although, I'd like to see what the pro animations of these uh, Money in the Bank cards look like. I'm sure there's someone out there who's already got both of them. Um, so, that's going to cost you a cool 38,400 contracts, which is totally not worth it. And the cycle only lasts for 35 days, which I'm going to talk about in a second as well. Charlotte, 22,800. Now, the thing that's interesting about Charlotte is that she uh, gets four statted by Alexa and she gets two statted by Lita. Now, if you don't level up the Charlotte in toughness, then you get crapped on by Lita. It's really, really that simple. So in terms of the overall cards, Lita is the better card. It's just a general rule. Although I love the designs. I think they're the like hazard signs that the... Well, it's effectively the roadblock signs or, you know, whatever you would call that. I'd say like a hazard kind of colouring. The metal kind of effects look really cool on the cards. And I like the cards a lot. I still feel that they're not going along with the original design of Season 3. And the original design of Season 3, as far as I'm concerned, is that the cards kind of come alive. They look a bit more, I don't know aesthetic they look quite cool you've got the raw flames you've got the smackdown energy and the nxt you've got the extra pipe points out and comes back in and stuff like that it's these don't look like that and i appreciate that the last money in the bank cards look quite cool because it was like the 2k17 design but you know i'm imagining that these flash red and blue because that's the kind of design that roblox had going for it I would like to see some cards that kind of, you know, jump out at you and are a bit like, you know, this design is really awesome. You should really like it. You should really like these. But I, just, I don't, I can't put on it, but I don't like how they've just carried over the money in the bank designs, the, the overall design. Like the, 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 it just doesn't look right compared to the season three cards. It looks like you're, you're basically getting contracts for cards that, really just aren't up there design wise but i'm sure the pros look good good enough and i'm sure people will love charlotte now as far as i'm concerned i don't need charlotte i don't need braun Strowman because i feel that charlotte's only useful if you're not in ultimate tier alternatively you are in ultimate tier but you don't have yourself a liter maybe you've not had the money to buy throwback packs you wasn't able to get yourself alexa then i think charlotte is a hundred percent worth it but I am going to throw a massive warning on that, okay? But before we discuss why I'm why I'm a bit cautious about these Money in the Bank cards, let's have a look. First of all, you got the Randy Orton. Randy Orton is a pro for anyone who got the Login Awards last month. So that's really, really cool. And actually, you know what? Bravo on uh, Supercard for doing that. That's quite cool. Uh, Chris Jericho is also there as well. Chris Jericho is one of the best cards in the tier as well for the Elite cards. And he's definitely worth it if you're not up there. Emma is a female, which a lot of people are going to want. A lot of people are going to want that, uh, that Emma card. Uh, Dusty Rhodes, Shawn Michaels. Well, everyone has enough Shawn Michaels. Dolph Ziggler's and Sheamus. Now, why do, am I a little bit cautious about these Money in the Bank cards? So as I start myself a new King of the Ring, now you may or may not know um, what is coming up in the next couple of weeks, but I'm here to tell you that the Royal Rumble is pretty much on the horizon. And if you haven't heard of it beforehand, then the Royal Rumble is basically 30 men, Jumping into a ring, possibly females as well, just to throw it out there. Sometimes it happens. 30 people jumping into a ring, they have about, you know, an hour's worth of just beating each other up. And eventually, 29 people end up outside the ring, and one person ends up the winner and goes on to WrestleMania to get a WWE Championship opportunity of their choice. Now, the big rumours at the moment are that Taker, Goldberg, Lesnar, or Rollins are going to win this match. I'm going to put my money on Taker, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I can't see any of the others winning it, and I, I, I personally don't think it'd be right for Goldberg to win it, even though it'd be another you know notch on his resume. If you're going to do that, I would give it personally to Jericho, because Jericho's never won a Royal Rumble, but that, let's be honest, if him just winning the, the uh, US Championship as well, it's probably not going to happen. So, the Royal Rumble is coming up, and... But I digress. The Royal Rumble is coming up. And the Royal Rumble is what we call one of WWE's big four pay-per-views. Now, there's been a lot of progression very, very quickly in WWE Supercard Season 3. A lot of people have already got themselves some amazing cards, got themselves into Ultimate Tier pretty quickly. And one of the things that I was told originally about Season 3 from people at WWE Supercard, but Season 3 is all about content. 
Which means you're going to see more Money in the Bank cards. You're going to see more event cards. You're going to see some things that other people aren't going to be able to get in the game. For example, those card backs. So you see me whilst I'm playing a bit of Royal Rumble here. And I'm going to explain why this is important, okay? So it's going to chuck in um, Stone Cold Steve Austin here. Now... Why this is important is actually really, really simple. Royal Rumble is one of WWE's biggest pay-per-views. And that means that the Royal Rumble coming around is a big, big deal. I wouldn't be surprised. Now we've got every kind of Arrow event card and we've got a compatible female tag. If you came back to me in two weeks' time and saw that there was a brand new tier come out. Now, I'm not predicting it's going to happen, but I've got a very, very good feeling that there's going to be a brand new tier coming out very, very soon. Now, for most of you who are sitting there thinking, Jesus Christ, JB, there's no way they're going to bring out a brand new tier in WWE Supercard this early into the game. Well, I'll take you back to Season 2, Legendary Tier, the beginning of WWE Supercard Season 2, only lasted two weeks longer than when I'm projecting that they are going to potentially release a brand new tier into the game. So as far as I'm concerned, this is perfect timing. Um, this is actually amazing timing. Why do I think this is amazing timing? Because, and I know there's a lot of people out there who are watching this video thinking, I'm only in Elite Tier and Hardened Tier. But if they want to make the game interesting for everyone, they're going to keep adding new tiers on top of the game. I feel that there is going to be uh, there's going to be a couple of big additions to the next update, WWE Supercard Season Three, which will be when Royal Rumble comes out. My prediction is, is that we'll get a brand new tier around about the time that uh, Royal Rumble appears, maybe the Tuesday and Wednesday beforehand, maybe just after the might even for a flash event. Us, who knows? Um, if you don't know what flash events are, go check out my previous content on the channel, and you'll be able to see exactly what those are and what those mean. I can just see there being maybe something to tie things down for a little bit maybe see some throwbacks you might even see some fusion cards pop up because fusions haven't appeared yet and i wouldn't put it past w, w supercard to release fusions as part of maybe an update a month into the next tier for example you see nakamura ends up winning that royal rumble which we've got here if that happened that would be an amazing event uh, but it's probably unlikely to happen because he's still the NXT champion right now. And we'll then get ourselves a brand new tier around about WrestleMania time because it's just going to happen. There's no way they will not release something big for the biggest event in WWE because it just generates cash. Every state or every city that WrestleMania goes to makes jobs, it makes income, and I can't see WWE Supercard not jumping on that. Now... What I think will probably happen at that point, because there's such a big gap between WrestleMania and SummerSlam, is we'll get two new tiers at that point. But going forward from there, I would imagine if Fusions haven't come out, Fusions will come out at a later stage. I also feel that this next update will be when we get to see PCC again, which obviously a lot of people are asking for. I can see PCC definitely coming back in the next update, just my personal opinion. This week we've got Ring Domination for Neville. Next week we've got Road to Glory for Neville. The week afterwards I can envisage we're going to get an update with potentially a new tier. And that week will be the first PCC of Season 3. Alternatively, they could hold that back for two weeks afterwards, but just to celebrate the Royal Rumble, given a lot of people are going to try and watch it anyway, they could run in some kind of advertisement around playing the event, maybe have a match like, they've not had a John Cena event card, maybe John Cena versus AJ Styles. They, of course, could do a Royal Rumble special and have several super cards in there who are in the Royal Rumble, as an, as an example. They could, of course, have Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. There's a lot of different options they could have, but let me know what you think in the comments section below about whether we are going to get ourselves a brand new tier soon i'm just making an assumptive guess given previously what i know about wwe supercard and what i've seen from the game in the past and the, the just I can see WWE Supercard working on the basis that every Big Four event, there'll be a brand new tier. So, for every SummerSlam, for every Survivor Series, for every WrestleMania, for every Royal Rumble, there'll be a brand new tier released. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, we'll find out when it happens. But remember to leave a like on the video, let me know what you think of those Money in the Bank rewards in the comments section below. Also, don't forget the subscription button, which is going to pop up also below as well. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Go to the description as well for details to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Discord. Can't forget that. And one last thing, and that is to... Sleep!